Hello, Bishop William Johnson from the Diocese of Des Moines, here on the occasion of looking forward to the Christ Our Life Conference, that biannual event, this year, September 24th through the 25th, and I'm here with the co-chairs, Marilyn Lane and Ellen Miller, these spiritual powerhouses, these two women here, who really are a driving force behind this, along with God's Spirit, of course. Uh, we have a lot of planning involved, and it's a new uh, menu of speakers and everything else, and uh, who would be some things that you'd like to highlight, Marilyn? I want people to come because we have had so many comments about what an incredible experience this is as far as bringing thousands of Catholics together. We all enjoy and appreciate our worship in our own parishes, obviously Jesus being the source and summit. However, the opportunity to worship and have adoration and listen to speakers among thousands of Catholics is powerful. So don't miss it. Yeah, it's an experience of the church uh, on a broader level. The Catholicity yeah. of the church is very well. And uh, Ellen, you know, like you say, this is an opportunity for us to have personal outreach to bring others to have this great experience. Absolutely. One of my passions during the conference is to have my go-to friends who are around the state and its borders create that personal invite within the parishes. And I just, I want other people too to consider um, making that personal invite themselves, right? It's like you don't have to be a go-to friend to invite a friend, right? And nothing better than a personal invite to this conference. If we can lead people to an encounter with yeah. Jesus Christ, yes, through the sacraments, through adoration, yes. confession, and the celebration of Mass, but those other ways in which, you know, perhaps only God knows what yeah. the need is in people's hearts and to grace them in that particular personal way. But you have to be there. That's uh, just it. And we walk in faith. We put on this conference walking in faith, knowing that the Lord is going to meet those who attend just right where they're at. Yeah. And now, that's not to say that uh, what we learned through the pandemic, to have that live stream option in case people yes. do need to and that's kind yes. of a, not just virtual I think that's a, an extended community in its own right it truly is we had 19 countries join us in 2020 and we're hoping that that expands also but we would like to see more people throughout the United States join us it's so easy and there's Christ. something for all ages I mean youth young adults or people who've been living their faith many years or people maybe who feel dormant it's not like they're going to be placed out of their comfort zone this is something that's where right. people are drawn into that that fold in a very beautiful way and uh, yes. for me it was just you know early on in my time as bishop but uh, what a tremendous uh, experience you know and I was personally moved as well so some speakers Matt Fred or Keith Nestor or others like that of course Chris Stefanik whom I interviewed on my radio show yeah, and Father right. John Ricardo and, nice, and other yeah. Patricia Sandoval so yes. you know what a what a well, great array and I really commend you ladies on what you've done here as well so uh, a great fall harvest of the fruits of the spirit mm -hmm. and all that we're about together September 24th Fourth through 25th. Yep. Tickets are available on the Christ Our Life website. Yes, yes. We know that many priests uh, plan. I've been seeing letters of suitability from nice. priests from various uh, parts of the state and beyond in the upper Midwest mm -hmm. who are making themselves available to offer the grace mm -hmm. of God's mercy and otherwise. And so I think this is just going to be a, 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 a pulse of the Holy Spirit not only for this Des Moines metro region but it's going to radiate around the world. Amen. Yay. Yep. ChristOurLifeIowa.com You'll find it there.